Hello friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and today we'll be checking out the gaming performance of the all new Xiaomi's Mi Max with that big 6.44 inch display. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Now taking up the temperature reading up first and while the ambient temperature is around 26 degrees celsius, the device temperature is 27 to 28 degrees celsius for both back and front. Now this video is shot in a non-AC environment and therefore the reading might differ on your usage conditions. So now that everything is set, let's play some games on the Mi Max. This time we'll be checking the real FPS of the games that we play on this device so that you have a clear idea about the gameplay and the overall performance on this device and we will be not hiding anything at all so we'll be starting with a new game this time which is city ride and this is like an endless running game with some nice graphics also just to remind you this device that i'm using is on the snapdragon 650 with the 3 gb of ram and an adreno 510 gpu the snapdragon 650 has a quad core 1.4 gigahertz quad is a53 and dual 1.8 GHz Cortex A72 and as you can see the game is running smoothly without any issues. Next is Riptide GP2, a water sports racing game with some cool graphics and physics involved in it. Now I have no doubts about it and the game plays smooth, there is no lag here and uh, I am quite liking the big display and the game experience on the Mi Max. Coming up next is Asphalt 8 on the highest settings and the game is running quite nicely. Now we have seen smoother gameplay but only on devices which runs on the Snapdragon 820. For a 650 it's really doing a nice job and you can play it without any issues. Also no major heating issues till now. Of course we'll be looking at the final FPS uh, rating of the game later on. Next is Nova 3. Now the game is running smoothly, no issues here and nothing that I can complain about. The big screen is really amazing and it gives you that um, like awesome experience when you play the game. Of course, if you can manage to play with it and carry it around for the entire day. Finally, Modern Combat 5 is one of my most favorite FPS games and here also the story is no different. I am liking the display, the speakers, the lag free gameplay and above all, I mean the on screen controls are so nice to manage and you get so much of space while playing all those games. So now that we have played around 25 to 30 minutes of gameplay, let's have a look at the temperature readings. The temperature reading at the edges around 39 degrees Celsius and near the core it's uh, the same. However at the front you get a temperature of around 40 to 41 degrees Celsius after 30 minutes of hardcore gameplay and anything which is less than 41 I consider it as a good heating score. Now talking about the frame rates that we got on the high end gaming. Now Asphalt 8 have around 35 FPS uh, as you can see which is nice for a Snapdragon 652 and on a medium settings the readings will be even nicer. For Nova 3 and the Modern Combat we got around anything around 30 to 35 and for the City Ride the scores were more than 55. 
So all in all, I'm quite impressed with the gaming performance of the Mi Max. Now when talking about the Geekbench scores, they are amazing. But then due to some stupid permissions issues of the MIUI with the Ent2, we had some issues running the app and they were not able to record the accurate readings. So friends, if you are looking for some non-stop high-end gaming on your Android, this device can deliver it without any issues. The huge battery, the amazing display and the and average heating will add to your gaming experience. So friends, that was all about the gaming experience on the Mi Max. Do drop us your thoughts in the comment section and if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do hit those button as well. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.